This video on the domino will bring you up to speed really quick on learning the finesse tips on how to use the domino. Not necessarily all the bells and whistles on it, but how to hold it and how to define it. So stay tuned. All right, Sage, where do we start? Okay, so we've done quite a few domino videos. You'll see it in the playlist on the Sedge Tool channel. But I wanted to, when I was reviewing them uh, last week, I was looking, I was like, we don't have all the little finesse tips all in one video. I mean, this could be a couple hours long, <laughs> but what I want to do is, you know these, but let's show our viewership some of the little finesse techniques. First, I want to do one thing. I want to define the machine. And if I flip it over, see this square part right here? That's known as the base. So I'm just going to put on here base and I'll label it. Okay, this part right here from the flaps out will define it as the plate. Okay, now when we go through it in one of our top videos, you know this is the four laws of the domino. Mm -hmm. I always make sure that I label my board so I know where I'm label where I'm holding my machine. Like I'll I'll go like this and I'll just we're just gonna do this. We're gonna do a plunge cut. Okay. So I can go over a few things uh, horizontally. I want to make sure that that's where my plate is and how sound it is and it's registered to the face of my material. Sounds good. So there's little things on this machine I've seen people use over the years, okay? And, and how you hold the machine. Okay, so first thing is as simple as this. Come in here, Chris. You see this right here? This is the switch, okay? You don't have to hold this, okay? Somebody once told me this was in the way. No, it's not. We always hold it back here. You know mm -hmm. that, okay? But the switch is locked on and there's a little detent in there, see it? So to lock it on, you just push it. And it locks on. Oh, okay. To turn it off, you press it back here and pull it back. Okay, so your hand is never encumbered by that dust extraction. Okay, so one of the finesse things about the domino that I see too many people uh, not make mistakes, but it looks uncomfortable when they're doing this. When I, I'm going to be using a flap on this, okay, to register from the side. I see too many people going like this. There's no marks on here. We're using the flaps, mm -hmm. okay? So when you do this, you don't have to look at anything because you're not seeing anything. And this allows you to put the pressure where it needs to be, okay? So I tell everybody, if you need to see something, you look through the window here. This puts you in the right That puts you in the right ergonomic. You're more relaxed mm -hmm. because you don't see anything. The, the bit is spinning to create the mortise here. So don't hunch over. You'll have a tendency if you hunch over looking that this will lift up and your plate won't sit flat. So I'll have you do this side, Big D. All right. So registering from the flaps? Yep. All right, Sedge, what's next? Okay, so that was plunging horizontally. Now here comes a lot of finesse tips and tricks when you're plunging vertically. It seems like people are a little more fearful of doing it, and they shouldn't be. Okay. It's all on where and how to hold the machine. So we just did the horizontal, and now we're going to plunge vertically in here. And the plate now sits on this three-quarter Okay, now the problem with that is it wants to rock. Mm -hmm. So whenever I plunge vertically or the majority of the time I plunge vertically, I use what is known as a support bracket. It comes with the domino and you'll see the two holes here. And the reason I move the plate first is because when I've set anything on the base, I always want to make sure it's sitting on something flat and I just tap these in. Okay, so now we have that support bracket on there, right? I'm going to release my plate like this, the angle, and make sure I'm exactly at 90. Now, you'll see, I'm gonna grab the flap, and you're gonna see where it's a lot more stable. Mm -hmm. But here's where I wanna coach you, okay? And we've done this before. Don't hold it here. 
because this is plastic and there's a little bit of deflection in here. So instead of holding the bracket, I always come back and my thumb is on the top of the fence here and that holds that plate at a perfect 90 degrees where it should be right here. So now I can get a perfect 90 degree plunge. So I'm all set. I got my pressure here, my support bracket here, but this is where over the years, and I learned this from a really good teacher, his name is Greg Polini. When I go to put the on off button on and lock it on, instead of going like this where it'll start to plunge into your material, play it safe, just put a couple fingers here and pinch it on. and you get a perfect plunge safely. Okay, so the support bracket, and you can see it in our domino drawer build, okay, actually has these which register against the flaps to give us 20 millimeters from the center. That is a fantastic upgrade that happened over the years. Now, there is something out there that's a little more stout that creates a and you'll see it right here. I just got one of these. So instead of having that much support, it's this much support. It's not made out of plastic. It's made out of anodized aluminum. It actually taps right on like this. All right, remember how I'm doing this on a flat surface. This is from TSO products and they call it the Bigfoot. Okay, there's all kinds of registration marks. That's your center line. This is another way of lining it up. But what I like about this is the handle, all right? So when I set this up to do exactly what we just did here, we're gonna do here. And you're gonna see the extra support I don't need because I'm holding the handle. It actually pulls that plate up against there and I don't need to hold it back here. So the other thing, Big D, is right here, there's a viewing window. I know I'm using the flat, but if I'm gonna line it up, I have it here and here for my center line. Okay. Boy, this is beefy. I'll let you use this. Okay. And then you tell me. Okay. <laughs> so what do you think, Big D? That's pretty substantial. Yeah, a lot more registration point. Yeah. And what I always notice is right in here, that is holding you at a perfect mm -hmm. 90 to that. So I think that's a good piece of equipment uh, for our domino mm -hmm. in the Sedge Tool Shop. And so the other thing to mention about this bracket, yes, I have it on the 500, but these holes here are the same distance as the 500 on the XL. And think about plunging an XL, this gives you a lot more registration point. Just want to go over really quick understanding the, the little finesse tips about holding the domino and about turning it on properly, it sounds funny, defining it, the plate and the base, feel that. That's a perfect cabinet butt joint yep. um, and that's what you want to accomplish. And also understanding the support bracket. Mm -hmm. Okay, so whether on the 500 or the 700, that's a wrap and as we always say, be positive. Stay sharp. Wicked sharp. Wicked sharp. <laughs>